fascinating fossils, a Cambrian jellyfish fossil from Saginaw, Michigan. While the fossil I'm about to show you was found in Saginaw, Michigan, that is not its point of origin. It was found in rock that was brought in as ballast for railroad tracks, and I've been unable to ascertain the origin of those rocks. The internet surely has made fossil identification fairly fast and easy in most cases. So this afternoon I spent a couple of hours looking at photos and uh, was able to identify what type of jellyfish uh, this had been and when it was likely to have lived. Looking at this, uh, we find that the jellyfish interpret, um, impression is on limestone. We're able to see two round portions of the body as well as the fringe that surrounds the bell. The jellyfish would have lived during the Cambrian age and this specimen is fairly small at uh, one and a half by two by half inch. Uh, a full grown specimen has been accepted as having been one of the most fierce pred predators of the ancient seas. So what is the Cambrian? It is the first of geolo uh, geolo geological periods of the Paleozoic era and is said to have lasted around 541 to 485.5 four million years ago. Let me stress here that I do not accept the theory of evolution. So I take these incredibly long periods of time with a uh, very large gra grain of salt. But uh, it's difficult for me to um, reconcile the age differences in the Bible and the age differences uh, from science. And I actually am able to uh, justify those vast ages in my mind by the notion that there was perhaps a pre-creation before the creation that brought about Adam and Eve and all of us. But anyways, supposedly it was in the Cambrian that uh, we saw the rise of animals with hard shells and it is because of this that excellent fossil records began to appear. Jellyfish's fossils are really quite rare as opposed to other types of fossils. This is because they are soft-bodied. So when they are found, uh, they are trace fossils. In fact, to even get a trace fossil, um, exacting conditions must be met at the time that the animal died. It had to be covered very quickly before decay could set in, and with jellyfish, uh, decay sets in rather quickly. Now here's a bit of uh, trivia that I found quite interesting. Do you know where the name Cambrian came from? It was derived from Cambria, the old Roman name for whales, where rock of this age were first described. Interestingly, where I found this jellyfish, there is a really mixed bag of fossils and Native American Indian artifacts. While separated by millions of years, they seem to have shared space uh, where they were brought from and again, uh, share a common space. Lastly, let's take a really short look at what else inhabited the Cambrian seas. The trilobite, one of my favorite prehistoric uh, critters, um, was a dweller of the Cambrian. But unlike jellyfish, which, is, uh, which are still abundant, the trilobite is completely presumed to be totally extinct. Although I still have a lot of faith that, uh, that in the deepest parts of the ocean, trilobites of some sort still live. It would only, to me, stand a reason with the literally thousands of species that lived here at one time. There were multitudes of seaweeds and algae as well as brachiopods, glass sponges, snails, and a dense growth of sponges like those that we have today. Well, that's, uh, that's it. I just wanted to, to give you a, a little look at uh, this awesome fossil. I was very excited to find it. Um, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, and God bless.